hey guys welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful shelly skirt or a shell skirt the reason why we're calling it a shell skirt because it's made up of shells and these right here are what we call shells so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and let's get to it so I'm going to use a medium weight yarn in the color sky blue and I'm going to need two hooks, the 3mm hook and 5mm hook. I'll use the 3mm for the waistband, then the 5mm hook will be for the main part of the skirt. We're going to need a pair of scissors for cutting the yarn, a yarn needle for weaving in the ends and a measuring tape for taking in the measurements so for this particular skirt you're going to need the hip measurement and the full length of the skirt so begin with a slip knot take the five millimeter hook make a slip knot and before you do so uh, make sure that you've taken the measurement of the hips that you want to make I'm making mine in size 38 so to begin, chain a chain that is long enough to fit the hip measurement that you're making. So in my case, I'll be making a chain that is 38 inches long when stretched out. So when I stretch out my chain, it goes up to 19 right here. And 19 multiplied by 2 is 38. So that means I've already hit my hip measurement. So this particular chain that we've already made that is equal to the hip measurement, we are not using it. The reason why we, we're making it is because we need to know the number of rounds that we're going to make for the waistband that we're going to make using the 3 millimeter hook. So, if you're, you've chained 120, you know that you should have 120 rounds, 120 rows of the waistband. If your chain is 100, you know that you're going to need 100 rows for the waistband. So take out the chain, then pick the 3 millimeter hook, start with a slip knot, then chain 15. So we are making the waistband, we are starting with a chain of 15 plus 1, so add one more chain to make it 16, then go into the 15th chain with a single crochet. And this will mark the first row of the waistband. We are making a total of 120 rows with single crochets, so in my case I am making 120, so put one single crochet into each stitch for a total of 15 stitches. So that's the end of the first row with 15 single crochets. Next you chain one and turn to begin row two. And we're going to be working the back loops only for the waistband. So there is this loop right here. We have the two loops. This is the front loop. Then right here, we have the back loop. So we'll only be working the back loops only throughout the waistband. So until we have 120 rows or 80 rows or whatever number of rows, make sure that you're working the back loops only. So work the back loops only for the second row for a total of 15 single crochets. So I have the 15 single crochets in the second row. To begin row 3, chain 1 and turn. 
start with the first stitch right here put a single crochet in the back loop and a single crochet into the back loops of each of the stitches from the first row for a total of 15. I'm done with row 3, so to begin row 4, chain 1 and turn, again go into the back loops only with single crochets and we're going to keep doing this, repeat this until you have your desired number of rows. And so I had mentioned that I'm working on 120 rows. So this is what you should have, your, your waistband should be ribbed like this on both sides. So keep going. So right here I'm done with my 120 rows and my waistband is complete. So next I need to join the two ends together and to do that start by making a chain one right here get this other end and now we're going to join the corresponding stitches of each side to the other stitch on the other side so this back loop and the front loop of the other end join them together with a single crochet again go into the back loop of the next stitch and the front loop of the other end make a single crochet go into the back loop of the third stitch and go to the front loop of the other end and join with a single crochet when we keep going for a total of 15 single crochets so we're going to join up this end right here with single crochets So right here the two ends are joined and this is the wrong side of the skirt therefore we're going to chain one and turn to the right side and this is what we have right here a very elastic waistband so next we're going to start working the skirt part of the the main part of the skirt and to do that, we're going to chain three. So I've already chained one, and then I'm going, I'm going to chain two more. Go into this very stitch and do two more double crochets. So the first chain three is acting as a double crochet. So we're going back into that very first stitch and work two more double crochets. So right there we have our first shell stitch which has three double crochets. Next we're going to skip the next stitch right here and then go on to the 
next one with a single crochet right here then we skip this one and onto this next one go there with three double crochets to make another shell stitch or another shell again skip this go into this next one with a single crochet skip into this other one three double crochets skip onto the next single crochet skip three double crochets And this is what we're going to repeat to the end. So you're going to alternate between three double crochets and a single crochet. And in between, you're going to skip a stitch. So we've done a single crochet. So next, we skip this one, then into the next, do three double crochets. Skip the next one and do a single crochet, skip double crochets skip single crochet and keep going like that till you get to the end right here and I'll show you how to join the first round So I've done my first round to the end right here and at the end right here I have my single crochet and then I am looking at the first shell that I did right here. So to complete this particular round we slip stitch onto the third chain that we started with so we count one two and three and onto that third chain right there work a slip stitch to connect the round so that marks the end of round one to start round two we slip stitch again so that we move on to the next double crochet we are, remember we have three double crochets in that shell so we slip stitch in the first double crochet so we slip stitch onto the second one so we are at the middle stitch then chain one and turn your work so we're going to be working in rounds and at the end of every round we're going to be turning now at this point we are done working with a three millimeter hook so take it out and get your five millimeter hook and it's the one that now we're going to start using so at this point we are at the second double crochet of the first shell and on top of that second double crochet right there, we're going to put a single crochet. So we've already chained one, so go in there and make a single crochet. Then on top of the previous single crochet right here, we're going to put three double crochets. So wherever we had a single crochet that particular stitch is going to get three double crochet so we work the shell on the single crochet now the second shell right here we're going to get the middle stitch which is a second double crochet on top of the middle stitch right there we're going to put a single crochet then we go to where we had the single crochet and put three double crochets then skip 
over to the double crochet of the previous shell put a single crochet onto the top of the double of the single crochet put three double crochets put a single crochet on top of the second double crochet of the shell three double crochets onto the single crochet and this is basically the pattern that we're going to repeat on top of the shell stitch the middle stitch gets a single crochet the single crochet gets three double crochets so our rounds are alternate rounds which means the point that had three double crochets is going to get a single crochet in the middle stitch the part that had a single crochet from the previous round is going to get three double crochets and we keep alternating like that till we have the desired length so as you can see this is a very simple skirt to make all you need to master is the first row the first round and then the second and then after that you just keep going repeating the pattern over and over and over till you have the length of the skirt that you want so work round two and I'll meet you at the end of round two to show you how we begin round three. I'm coming to the end of the second round. And right now I'm putting three double crochets. then a single crochet on top of the second double crochet then we have a single crochet right here so right there we put three double crochets and we're done with round two so to close it up we slip stitch on top of that very first single crochet so right here put a slip stitch like that and we only put in one slip stitch because we are at the point where we have a single crochet next we chain one and turn the work so remember we are turning at the beginning of every row next we go back into that single crochet and put three double crochets into that stitch The next stitch is a shell so on top of the second double crochet put a single crochet right here three double crochets and do the same thing that we've done with round two alternate wherever we had a shell put a single crochet Wherever you add a single crochet, put a shell and keep going to the end. I'm done with round three and we need to connect the round so on top of the first double crochet of that first shell that we had slip stitch right there 
and then we slip stitch onto the next one so that we move to the middle stitch then chain one and turn so we are on top of the shell stitch in the middle stitch so we start with a single crochet right there then move on to the single crochet and put three double crochets and round four is the same as the other round we're just alternating so as you can see the difference only comes in in how we end the round so if we had started with a shell stitch we end the round with two slip stitches if we had started with a single crochet we only slip stitch once so the reason why we slip stitch twice on the shell stitch is so that we can begin on top of the second double crochet because we are supposed to put the single crochet on top of the middle stitch of the shell stitch so work round four and i'll show you how to end round four and start round five then you'll be good to go and i'll let you work on your skirt until you have the desired length so work round four to the end let's meet at the end of round four i show you how to end the round I'm at the end of round four and I'd started with a single crochet so I slip stitch on top of the single crochet and we slip stitch in only once and we're done with round four so to begin round five chain one and turn on top of that single crochet we put three double crochets Then a single crochet on top of the second stitch of the shell, three double crochets, and the pattern continues to the end, and that is simply what we're going to be doing. So at this point, this is what we have. You can take the measurement of the skirt right now to see the length of the skirt. So at this point my skirt is four and a half inches long and i want a skirt that is 22 inches long so i'm going to keep working these rows until i have 22 inches so whatever your length of the skirt work it this way So right here, I'm done with my desired rows, rounds that I'm giving me the height that I need. So at the end right there, I have done a slip stitch and chained one. And this is what I have right now. So this is my skirt folded into two. The length that I've done is 18 inches. I had set out to do 22 inches for the length, but then I realized that 22 would be too long for my desired skirt. So I did a total of 35 rows. And this is what I have right here. So what's remaining to do is the edging. And make sure that the last row that you do, when you're slip stitching, you slip stitch on the single crochet before you start to do the edging so for the edging we chain one then chain two more for a total of three turn your work go back into that single crochet with three double crochets So 
so I've done my three double crochets plus the chain three that we've done we have a total of four next we skip over all these stitches and slip stitch into the sing next single crochet right here slip stitch then chain three go into that single crochet with three double crochets skip over to the next single crochet and slip stitch then do three chains go into the single crochet with three double crochets skip over to the next single crochet and slip stitch inside the single crochet stitch chain three get into that single crochet with three double crochets and keep repeating like this till you come to this last single crochet right here so go around the skirt with that edging slip stitch chain three three double crochets I'm done with the last shell of the edging so to complete this I'm going to slip stitch onto this very first single crochet then slip stitch in between the chain 3 stitch that I made chain 1 and we are done so we cut off the yarn pull through and fasten and that marks the end of our skirt tutorial this is how the skirt looks like this is the waistband and then we have the full skirt right there so for the waistband it might be it may be a bit wide and so we're going to attach a drawstring to pull the waist together to work the drawstring i get two strands of the yarn and then i'm going to chain a chain of 200 or 250 so make a chain of either 200 or 250 whatever you think will fit on onto your waist So I've worked up my chain right here and I'm going to put it onto the waistband using the yarn needle. So determine the front part of the of the skirt. So this right here is my front part. So I'm going to go through a point right here. And then I'll start pulling that string through the skirt. And I'll work it round till I get to this point. So thank you very much for watching and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and share with your friends. Thank you very much. Bye.